I can still do a lot of the stuff I did when I was a kid. I won't get on a motorcycle or ride a horse or ski down a mountain, but I'll do pretty damn near everything else, and somehow I'm still here. <laughs> Coming to Hollywood and, and uh, not going to school. <laughs> I wanted to be a doctor for a while, and I thought, well, you can be a doctor, you can be anything as an actor. I came here and I never went back, and it was the smartest move. I started pretending the minute I walked in the town. The town gave you the permission to be anything you wanted, but then I found my own truth. And it's a wonderful thing when that happens. You find, you find who you are at the same time as you find who you want to be. I'd, I'd have to make a list of them. I can't say that I didn't fall in love with several of them, you know, it, as, as did audiences. You know, the thing about an actress, you're not sure they're acting, you don't know if it's you or it's real, but one thing's for sure, you're a willing participant, and if they would choose you, you'd go right with them. I, I, was, I was always ready, had a bag packed, to leave with my leading lady, if I could. <laughs> The one thing that I've always tried to do is be kind, and I've always tried to um, understand other people's points of view. My mother uh, always brought us up to care about other people. I don't care how important they are or, or unimportant they may be to other people. They're important to me, and so I treat everyone the same, and my life has been blessed. I have had more people do nice things for me uh, without ever having to ask for it, and I think that's the best life lesson I learned, just be kind. You can afford it. I'm always looking for idiosyncrasies, the way people move, the mannerisms. And, 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 and one thing I always look for is someone, an actor has a secret. You look at the actor and they have a secret. And that they tell you it doesn't make it interesting. That they don't tell you it makes it fascinating. A lot of people laugh and they call me the tan man and it's sort of a nickname. A lot of people think it's sort of dated, you know, some tan is dated, people don't do that. I remember seeing Cary Grant and I, and I thought, my God, that man is tan. He looked great. He looked like he was healthy. And so I, before I would go anywhere, I would go and sit in the sun. I'd go to the beach every day. And the studio didn't know what to do with me because they'd say, look, you're so tan, we can't film other people with you. <laughs> so I would go out and work on it. And on weekends, I'd get even tanner. And then they'd put makeup on me to try to cover it. And then they said, forget it, just let them be tan. A tan makes me feel great. It's probably just ego. Uh, I feel like I, I, I look better with it. I'm now 80. My God, how many years? Have people say, well, you don't want to be in the sand. The sun, it might age you. Well, God knows. <laughs> if it's going to age me, it better start now. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!